grow into a godly lifestyle paul mentored timothy and in his instructions to timothy paul specifies the importance of a, a godly lifestyle and a godly lifestyle involves certain disciplines which will definitely um, uh, yield fruit uh, and and that fruit that we're talking about is spiritual growth and what are some of these disciplines these disciplines are uh, staying in the word of god so you know daily time in the word of god uh, daily time of of reading the word of of declaring the word of praying the word through this is a discipline uh, that we ought to develop uh, the discipline of of prayer where we um, come before the lord and and you know we we share our heart to the lord and there are many kinds of prayers uh, which which we pray but developing and growing uh, in the practice of prayer and and seeing answered prayers uh, and answered prayers building up our faith uh, this too is is a discipline that we need to grow in uh practicing the presence of god uh and how do we do this we we do this by acknowledging god's presence at all times but in a special way we can experience the presence of god as we worship him so practicing the presence of god through worship is another discipline that we can develop for our own spiritual growth giving uh, is a discipline that is important too and every person who calls uh, themselves godly uh, would know that giving uh, is a virtue giving is something that uh, credits god's blessings into our accounts and god is glorified and so uh, giving uh, in the right way in the biblical way uh, that is specified to us is is a spiritual discipline fellowship a gathering together with other believers relating with them uh, in the right manner uh, giving into the lives of others uh, uh, serving them blessing them and also receiving uh, from them is a spiritual discipline uh, and we uh, as believers who are growing in god if we make sure that in each of these disciplines you know we we are making progress uh, that will determine our overall uh, growth and the progress and growth um first timothy 4 8 for bodily exercise profits a little but godliness is profitable for all things having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come so in the manner in in the same manner as physical exercise yields results if we consistently um are uh, uh, taking care of our body through exercise right eating sooner or later you know we will see the the results and in the same way uh, if we are taking time in all of these disciplines uh, there will be results and, and you know uh, this is a spiritual growth uh, and and the uh, verse that i just read says that it's more profitable it's more profitable because spiritual growth uh, is for this life and the life to come so let's keep making progress uh, and another point about progress is that uh, this progress will be evident to all first timothy 4:9 meditate on these things give yourself entirely to them that your progress may be evident to all so pursuing a godly lifestyle is uh, uh, very useful uh, and what we read is that our progress is definite and our progress will be evident to all so shall we just pray and ask god uh, to to help us develop this kind of a lifestyle heavenly father we commit our lives to you and god we uh, pray that lord uh, you will strengthen us so god to uh, surrender every area of our lives so god father we pray that uh, uh, lord we will make time for each of these disciplines and father it will not just be uh, a pattern or or something monotonous father that that we engage in but lord uh, with all our heart our soul our, our mind our strength to oh god that we will love you and god that our, our spiritual progress and our spiritual growth father will be evident to all oh god thank you lord thank you once again in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org